Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another empties video, or as I like to call it, Trash Talk, where I talk all about my trash. And with moving, I definitely want to burn through some candles that I do not want to bring with me into the new house. And I do have two baskets of wax that I pulled from my collection that I really want to work on and go through before I move. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with candles. The first candle that I finished is a Voluspa candle, and this is in Goji Taraka Orange. Now, these are like their flat coconut wax candles. It burned down all the way. I love this scent. It's a very sweet orange, but Taraka Orange, it almost has like a hint of spice, which sort of makes it like an oriental fragrance without being like fall or like overly spiced. It's so pretty, but Voluspa candles do not perform at all for me. They're completely unscented. I have yet to find a Voluspa candle that works for me, so I want to get rid of it. So I have, I think I have one more in this like tin container in um, like a pumpkin spice latte. So maybe if there's like another really cold night here, I might light that one up. But for now, it might just travel with me because I'm really not in the mood for pumpkin scents, even if it's unscented. I finished a Homeworks candle, and this is in Balsam White Birch. Now, I also want to preface this by saying, um, I just, these are super not in season candles just because I want to get rid of them. At Balsam White Birch is for Balsam White Birch, Cedar Leaf, and Smoldering Woods. I believe I got this at Ulta. It's four wicks. This started out really nice and strong, and then the flames, as you can see, about ha halfway, it just futzed out, and it was barely anything, and this is the reason why I don't burn Homeworks candles. I don't think they perform well. They're a pain to store. They're so large. So, yeah. Anyway, and the scent, it's nice. Like a very, like, white birch fragrance, and with a hint of balsam. But, um, yeah, I burned this on, like, super cold nights here, but would not repurchase. I finished from Kringle Rosé all day. Now this is one of their paraffin candles, and I know Jessica D talks so much about their paraffin candles and how she wishes over the rainbow would be in paraffin. That is exactly how I feel about this candle, I, or in soy. I love this scent so much, the rosé all day. It smells just like you poured a fresh glass of rosé wine. It's so pretty. But, ugh, the way these burn, these paraffin candles, I mean, now granted, it did burn good, like, all the way down. Like, super, no residue, it did get pretty sooty, but, I will say, as far as the burn goes, it's just puny flames, super smoky, I couldn't get a really great scent throw from it, but if, if Rosé All Day gets reformulated into soy, 100% will be picking this up, because I love this candle. Next, we have a little single wick from Bath & Body Works in Pink Lilac and Vanilla. I burned this in my bathroom. This is interesting. Pink Lilac and Vanilla, it smells, and I will always say this until the end of time, it smells like the Bubblicious Bubblegum that's like in the blue and yellow container, and when you unwrap it, it's like covered in flour. It's exactly what I think this Pink Lilac and Vanilla smells like. I much prefer Fresh Cut Lilacs if I'm going to get a scent from Bath & Body Works, like lilac wise the pink lilac and vanilla just falls short it just smells like like bubble gum and that's exactly what it smelled like when you burned it too so not a fan i finished a yankee candle uh elevation candle in grapevine and saffron now the elevations are two wicks it did burn down all the way i had no problems with the burn it the residue is just from the soy the scent is interesting i i i don't love it but I don't hate it. You definitely get like a grapey note, but like a very rich Merlot wine grapey note, but there's something in here that just throws it off. And I don't know if it is the saffron or if it's the other notes in here. It, it just kind of makes it a bit like older. I, I, if that, like, like a very heavy perfume. Almost like, yeah, when I smell the lid, I really get it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I would not repurchase it, but I, I could tolerate it when it was burning. 
I finished from DW Home Fizzy Cola. Um, this was an unscented candle. It did burn down all the way down, but the soot on this guy, look at that. I mean, it is like black inside. Insanely sooty. Um, two wicks, if you can even see down in there. I do not like DW Home candles. I don't think they perform well at all. Um, I did get this from Home Goods, so maybe that's why. Maybe Home Goods gets like the reject burns. I've never ordered directly from the DW Home website. Don't really plan on it. Yeah. And then I believe the last candle, unless there's some like buried in my basket here, there actually is. So we'll get into that. This one is from 1820 House. This is one of my friend's candle companies in Ohio. You can buy 1820 House candles online too, and then some select like boutiques in your area. This is in Gold Dust, and this is Oud, Elemi, Sea Salt, Wild Cypress, Suede, Sea Salt, and Amber. I actually just finished this in my bathroom. So pretty. It's like a very nice cashmere fragrance. I really like it. Her fragrances are not super strong, but she uses natural oils, so I always burn her scents like in my bathroom to give them a fair chance, and this did perform really well in the bathroom. I could smell it from the moment. It started till the literal last drop, and her wax is 100% plant-based wax, so the way that it burns is just clean every single time. I actually have another single wick. I probably have, uh, I do have more candles. They're like buried in the bottom. I finished a tester single wick in Palo Santo. This is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works. I just love it. It's like Palo Santo, Amber, Sandalwood, all those rich, warm, woody scents. I absolutely love this candle. Mm. And I have a bunch of these and they will be traveling with me because I love Palo Santo in the bathroom And it's nice to like burn this in the bathroom while I have like a scent that has Palo Santo in the notes Burning like or melting. I I, I love that All right, let me take the wax down here. I have mm, Is this another candle down here? It sure is. I, I feel like I did not Talk about this in the last one. I don't remember. This is Santiago Huckleberry. Did I talk about this in the last one? I don't remember. But anyway, also unscented. This is from Velispa. This is one of their one wicks. Love this fragrance. I actually might ask Sassy Girl Aroma if she can dupe this because I love it. This is Ripe Huckleberry Vanilla and Crushed Sugar Cane. It's just such a... Mm, it's so just really, really pretty. And... The vanilla and the sugar blended with the huckleberry, so nice. I just wish that these performed for me, so definitely think I'll have um, Julie try to dupe that. All right, I think that's it for candles. I have a few body cares that I'll just go through really quickly. I finished uh, the Stress Relief Aromatherapy Bath Soak from Bath & Body Works, the experiment. I like it. It's just like that. It's a bath soak. It's like a Epsom salt. This guy, this is the Sea Minerals, the Meditate, Ocean Waves, Bergamot Cedarwood, Aloe and Sea Salt Body Scrub from Bath & Body Works. This like burned my skin. Like I, you get really this, it's a really nice thick sea salt texture and like you start scrubbing away and it feels really good and then all of a sudden like you feel this warming sensation and it like flips to burn. Like it burned my skin and I felt that way for like an hour after my shower. Needless to say, would not repurchase this. I mean, they don't even have this scrub right now. It says, made with purifying, gently exfoliating sea salt. Yeah, I don't know. It it burned. It burned really bad. I finished a uh, sugar scrub from The Bathing Garden in Pucker. And this is her coconut oil body scrub. I love this. I love The Bathing Garden scrubs. They're really like... The texture on them is like frothy. I do wash before I use these because these are like a wash and scrub. She does offer those, but this one isn't. And I really like it. It was like a lemon, like a lemon candy. Mm, super nice. Really like this. And this is like a nice little jar to like travel with, but I'm just gonna recycle it. All right, let's move on to the wax. Oh my gosh. I literally always say that and then I like find more Bath & Body products. I finished a shower gel in white t-shirt. This is the older packaging of white t-shirt. I love white t-shirt. It's crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. It literally smells like a guy got out of the shower and put on a fresh white t-shirt, but his his like body wash was a little masculine. So it's not like a super cologne. It's just like a, a light masculine leaning on laundry. Mm, perfection, love that. 
And then I finished my favorite scent from all time, Bath & Body Works Signature line is You're the One, and I finished that in a bubble bath. Really like their bubble bath. Um, the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Uh, it is like sophisticated perfume. Oh, and I see that Julie has this offer this weekend The in, um, actually, this is going to be posting tomorrow, or today, Wednesday. On Friday, her pre-order opens, and she does have You're the One in Brittles. So if you love strawberry, rose, white birch, this scent, if you've tried it from Bath & Body Works, I, I feel like her dupe is going to be the same. I mean, I have all the faith in her, so I'm going to order four Brittles, like, right away, because I love this scent, and... They did have it in candles for a long time, or for like a short time, I should say. And yeah, so super excited for that one. All right, so moving on to bags, I'm just gonna go, oh my lord, I'm dropping them everywhere. There's quite a few bags here, so let's just get started. The first one I have is Cotton Candy Cookie Land from Rose Girls. This was in a chunk muffin. This was okay. I did cut it into pieces and did it next to my bed before bed. I liked how the Cookie Land, which is like a pretzel bakery, blends with the cotton candy. Really, really like that scent. I definitely would repurchase that. I finished, I actually have this going today in my bathroom from Broadway Wax. This is Moses Supposes, which is blue sugar, black sugar, and shave in a haircut. This smells a little bit like masculine with a hint of fresh. It's, it's a nice combo. Um, I wouldn't reorder, but it was nice. It's nice going in the bathroom. Oh, I finished an owl in, um, like, the sh owl shape from Destination Wax in her Lavender Twilight, which is a dupe for the Lush Twilight, and it's Sweet Lavender, Lilac, Tonka Bean, and Ylang Ylang. I love that scent from Lush. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so rich, and, like, I say powdery lavender, but don't take that as, like, super floral. I say powdery, like, bath bomb powder, because it has that, like, bath bomb scent to it. Uh, I cut that out into fours, and I did one in each half of my warmers by my bed, and I did one in the warmer in my bathroom. The bathroom, almost three whole days. I could smell that in there. Love that. This is definitely loaf worthy. I do have another owl in there, but once that's done, I'm definitely going to get that again. This little combo, so good. I don't, I, it's not a faux pas, but I'm like, oh, I can't believe I'm doing that. Um... I did a combo of two different vendors in my warmers. I did Dole Whip from L3, sweet and tart, fresh cut pineapple, blended with sweet, delicious, soft serve vanilla ice cream, and I mixed it with Waxy Taffy's Summer Scoop, which is like the strawberry ice cream dupe from um, Yankee Candle. I literally chopped the two buns in eight pieces, so four and four, and then the brittles, I just broke into a bunch of pieces, evenly distributed them through the warmers. Strawberry pineapple ice cream, delicious delight. It was incredible. It was really cold outside this one day that I did this. It smelled like summer in here. And I don't love summer, but I like summer in the house. <laughs> Buffalo Check from Teddy B's. This is Sweet Cranberries, Fresh Pumpkin, Red Apples, and White Clouds. Now this was poured on 1021. I'm really nervous. I didn't get a throw. I'm having really, really hard time with Teddy B's. But I also watched, was it Jenny's video, Just Jenny, where she said, the longer it cures, the better it is. And this is from 10 to so October. Yeah, it should be cured. It's like, what, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 6 months? But I also still need to figure out, like, how much of her wax to use. Everybody says less is more, but then some people say more is more. I don't know. They were three chunks. I cut each chunk in half, and I did them in six warmers, three tea lights, two hot plates and a Scentsy, and I barely could smell it. This is Addison from Sassy Girl Aroma in a Brittle. The only reason why this is fairly new and I used it was because it was super broken and I wanted to use it up and not move it. This was, I got this March 15th, so it definitely had enough cure time. And this is Blackberry Sugared Peonies. I did a whole entire Brittle throughout this whole upstairs apartment. Love this. Love, love, love the peony in here. It's really sweet, a little bit sugary, and then the blackberry adds this warm fruit note, mm, and it lasted all day. Love. 
Next, I did from L3, Peaches Don't Cross Streams, Rose Peach Gelato. This was completely unscented. It was definitely older. Could not smell it at all. Speaking of could not smell it at all, this is a Yankee Candle. This is part of their new, like, wellness collection. And this is Bright Pomelo and Amber. I cut these into, I, like, did their little clam thing in my bathroom. Yeah. It's okay, the scent. It's like citrusy amber, but absolutely nothing in the bathroom. Nothing at all. I did not like this. Okay, so I also did a combo. I did Fanta Orange Soda in Puppy Packs from L3, and I did Favorite Crush from Empire Alchemy. Both like orangey fragrances, so Fanta Orange Soda. Clearly orange soda. Favorite crush is fresh squeezed oranges, olive branch type, and wild Madagascar vanilla. Pop these in, went to the gym, came home. I was like, something is funky. And I like held the dishes up to my nose and it was the Fanta orange soda. I don't know what it is, but on warm, it like turned into this like musky, like odory type of smell. Mm -mm, no, was not into that. I had one little chunk in County Fair from Teddy B's. Now, okay, this sounds interesting to put in the bathroom, that's for sure, but I only had one chunk, and it was a small chunk, and it is County Fair, kettle corn, soft pretzels, and fried ice cream. Loved this in the bathroom. Super, super strong. But I will agree with other people who have this, it needs apple. Like, it just, it's, it's like a circusy concession vibe, it just didn't have any apple to it, so I was like, I need the apple. But otherwise, it was good. Um, what's this one? This is, oh, Plain Old Cookie Land from um, Rose Girls. And I put a mini melter bag. This has full of mini melters in Cookie Land, and I could smell this instantly. Like, I put this in tea lights. I put this in hot plates. Love this scent. We have Sweet Snow Covered Orchard, which is sparkling snow, whipped vanilla, apples, pears, and plums. Love this. This was really, really fresh, crisp. I really liked the combo of the apples, the pears, the sparkling snow. It was just, it was very fresh, but it didn't smell Christmassy to me. I know this was passed quite a bit in the round robin, but I was really excited about this. I would order this again, maybe not in a huge quantity, because I really liked it in my bathroom. Another big womp womp that I'll just get through now, Ebony Violet. Full disclosure, she did send all she did send me a box of wax to review, and I told her I would give my honest opinion. Ebony Violet is not for me. And I say that because I didn't get performance from the wax, and it was so hard to get out of my warmers. Like it's not super hard or super soft. Freezing it didn't work like I had to dump it and it was just it was it was a mess So would not repurchase or would not purchase so again full disclosure of these I did get sent to me was not a fan I did Mike Wazowski, which is granny Smith apples white florals green notes soft woods and orange blossom I could not smell a thing from ebony this one is love light and flight And this was like one of her brittles like sassy girls and I did the whole brittle just like I would do sassy girl in my apartment nothing White Cake, Sugar Cookie, and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds by the Campfire. And I really liked this scent, but I heard that this is just a, another oil that's like a single scent oil. So I'm hoping to order this from another vendor. It says Blackberry Merlot, Tobacco Flower, Whiskey, Cocoa Marshmallow, Sandalwood Amber, and Patchouli. Really liked this scent, but again, got absolutely nothing on warm. Speaking of getting nothing on warm and also like, ugh, I placed the pre-order with them. Uh, Empire Alchemy. These were both in the round robin box. These were from March of 2021, so I don't know if it had too long of a cure time or like the storage wasn't right. I'm not sure. But these were both two hearts, and I did the hearts in my bathroom. This was Gain type, and this was Black Raspberry type. Both of them I could not smell a thing from. So disappointing. I finished. Now this is like sort of odd shape because it was a huge pumpkin that I had chopped into fours from VCS, Jackie O's Peanut Butter Zucchini Bread, 10 out of 10, super strong, love the way this performs my house, love the way VCS performs my house, I hope it performs my new apartment just as amazing or even better than previously. This is vanilla bean zucchini cake topped with whipped marshmallows and a peanut butter drizzle, love.
Next, we have from the pharmacist's daughter, Cauldron Bubble. This is a real winner from her, I will say. I'm not a fan of the pharmacist's daughter, but this Cauldron Bubble is coconut crack and coffee house. I really liked how the coconut turned the coffee into like a really rich, buttery coffee, almost leaning towards like a cakey bakery set. But I will say, the Bathing Garden, their like Irish coffee is the exact same scent, so now I know I can get this from other vendors. I finished from Super Tarts Simpsons, which was glazed donuts, root beer, and whipped cream. I did six warmers, one cube in each, blew me out of the house. Love this. This is definitely a root beer float type of scent. I wouldn't say I got donuts necessarily. I definitely got like a very effervescent, rich root beer. I was really happy with that one. From Scentsy, I did Plumeria Peach. I did this in my bathroom two different times, two or three different times, I can't remember. Love this scent. It's just the right peach. It's It leans a little bit towards perfumey peach, but I don't hate it. Mm, I really like it. Um, I did, I only had three cubes left of Autumn Sunset, and I did not like it. Mm -mm. It reminds me of like a craft store, and craft store vibes are not my vibe. Um, it kind of yellowed too, so I had those three cubes and just wanted to use it up. Moving on to, these are all of my L3 customs that I placed in one order. So, let me, yep, this is all of them. So, I never ended up filming this haul. Life was just crazy when I got it, but I definitely want to share them with you and like the backstory as to why I chose them. So, buckle up. The first one, as you know, Waitress is my favorite movie, musical, love it so much. So I did a lot of Waitress-inspired fragrances, and the first one is Old Joe's Slice of Heaven Pie. And if you know the movie and the musical, you know the reference, and this is coconut cream pie, vanilla wafer, and pie crust. This scent, you guys, oh my gosh. The, the vanilla wafer mixed with the pie crust made this so decadent and the coconut cream pie, oh my god, this was so good. This was the best coconut cream pie fragrance I've ever smelled. So I mixed coconut cream pie, vanilla wafer, and pie crust. So good, so good, so good. Would totally repurchase that one. This one I kind of made as like a a little joke just to see what it would be like and I called it a very or a merry BBW Christmas winter candy apple vanilla bean noel twisted peppermint no 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 uh, -uh. did not like this I could not even detect any of the three notes in there it was like kind of just like a random mashup and yeah mm -mm. and I couldn't really tell on warm either um all right we'll stick with the um oh some of them are buried I'm like wait a minute Oh boy. Someone thinks they're mighty with that big truck. Um, we have Meet Your Dream Chocolate Cream Pie, also from Waitress. And this is interesting. And if you know the reference, in the movie, Dawn is going on a date and she wants Jenna to make one of her special pies. So she said she's going to make it real special. And she's going to make it her milkiest chocolate pie with a hint of passion fruit. So this is pie crust, hot cocoa, and passion fruit nectarine. This is beautiful. Blending the hot cocoa and the pie crust with a hint of the passion fruit nectarine, the fruitiness brought almost out the chocolate and made this like a decadent Godiva truffle. It was so good, and I called it Meet Your Dream Chocolate Cream Pie. This was so good. Really had good luck with that one. And then... The last of the waitress inspired one, oh, it like stuck, oh here we go, is Jenna's Devil's Food Chocolate Oasis Pie. And this is strawberry jam, whipped cream, and hot cocoa. If you're a bakery lover, you have to try this one. The strawberry jam, whipped cream, and hot cocoa combination sort of reminded me of like a, like a, like a really decadent, strawberry like lava cake like you had a really rich lava cake and they put fresh strawberries on top not syrup or anything just strawberries and they almost like they almost started to develop their own syrup in like the lava cake so good all right and then i did 
Do I have all of my girls? I sure do. These are my Golden Girls. So Golden Girls is my favorite TV show and I did all of my Golden Girls. So we'll start with Rose Nyland and Rose Nyland is Rose Jam, Blonde Moment, and Cheesecake. Rose, Rose Jam, she's blonde, blonde moment, they love their cheesecake, cheesecake. Really cool combo. It, the Rose Jam and the Blonde Moment, which is like a raspberry champagne, really mended well together with the creaminess of the cheesecake. Really, really liked that one. Liked how that one turned out. Dorothy Spornak, she's a substitute teacher, and I did books, Mac Apple, and then Sunny and Cher. Because in the movie, in the show, in one of the scenes, Dorothy and Sophia dress up as Sunny and Cher to go um, uh, do a, like a little singing con uh, contest for Shady Pines, and I love. I love that set, that scene, and this scent was really nice. The book and the Mac Apple really was really cool. I don't remember what Sunny and Cher was. Then, speaking of Sophia, I did Sophia Petrillo, and I did Tiramisu, Cheesecake, and Pizzelles. Again, Cheesecake, Golden Girls, Tiramisu, and Pizzelles. She's Italian, so those are Italian desserts. So good. The tiramisu coffee richness bakery mixed with like the almond anise type of scent from the Pizzelles and then cheesecake just made it super, super creamy. And then Blanche Devereaux. Blanche Devereaux is the talk of the town in Miami. Every, she's been with every man and she is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is red lipstick. She's from the South, so Southern Sweet Tea. Now the last one, Downy, Water Lily, and Jasmine. In one of the scenes, they're going to a, like, Save the Whale Foundation, and she is not very charitable. And in the scene, she says, I was talking to myself one day, and I said, Water Lily. That's the nickname I call myself, Water Lily. And that's the reference. So she calls herself Water Lily when she talks to herself, like her inner self. So that's how I blended this. This was a really interesting scent. It was very clean because it's downy Water Lily and Jasmine. So it's like a, a downy fragrance mixed with sweet tea and lipstick. It was very clean. I really liked it. And then the last one, I actually melted around the holidays. Shady Pines, Ma. And if you know Shady Pines, that is the retirement home that Sophia came from that Dorothy, her daughter, threatens to send her to every day. And it is pine, vanilla balsam, and Fraser fir. Very nice, creamy Christmas tree fragrance. So those were my L3 customs. I finished all of those. Really excited for that. All right, I didn't realize how much I honestly got through since the last video. I finished So Fetch from L3. This is Strawberry Pound Cake and today is October 3rd. I like it. I like how the combo of Strawberry Pound Cake mixes with today is October 3rd. As I did puppy packs, so I did it next to my bed. Heading to camp, because everybody raised about this. I know Charity absolutely loves this scent. And this is Toasted Marshmallow, Burnt Sugar, Sticky Sweet Cocoa, Vanilla, and a Hint of Smoky Firewood love love this definitely want to get this in bigger quantities whenever it's offered the marshmallow lean towards like a really creamy marshmallow that was just the right amount of toasted without being burnt it was beautiful speaking of sassy girl i did banana split milkshake cookies banana chocolate sauce sweet cherry and sugar cookie crumbs now if you know me you know i do not like cherry however this was nice it smelled just like an authentic as authentic and as, as a banana split can be, banana split. Both of these I got in November, and they were mini muffins. So was, I'm working on finishing through my mini muffins. I did a breakaway bar from Destination Wax in Winter Linen, which is a crisp laundry scent, fresh linen, bergamot, Egyptian jasmine, white flowers, sandalwood, musk, and cashmere. This was nice. It was just like a laundry scent. I did it in my bathroom. Strawberry Crumble from Destination Wax. This is strawberries and acai berries baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumble. I love Destination Wax. I love her strawberries. This just wasn't a favorite. It just it just was missing something for me. If you're not a huge strawberry fan, but you want to like slowly dive into it, I feel like this is a good one. It was more like a sugar cookie with a little bit of strawberry on top. Oh. Frankish Princess. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And see, this was poured on Jan on Jan 
on June 9th of 2021, and I just did this recently, so maybe it does need a really long cure time, Teddy Bees. This is a blend of her patisserie and her blackberry butter pecan cookies. This is so good. Her patisserie is warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice. And then her blackberry butter pecan cookies is butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. That blackberry butter pecan cookies I need in big quantities. That is fabulous. And mixed with the patisserie, this was like pumpkin pecan waffle, berry, donut, bake shop. And it lasted all day. I did an entire chunk bag throughout my apartment and it lasted all day long. Fabulous. Fantastic. Would totally, totally get that again. I finished from... VCS White Christmas, which is a buttermint vanilla bean Noel. I liked it. It was a very creamy buttermint fragrance. I did from the pharmacist's daughter Backpack Buddy, which is Mac Apple, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Vanilla Butter Fudge. I love Vanilla Butter Fudge and mixed with the Sugar Cookie Royale and the Mac Apple. It was nice. Wasn't super, super strong. I did a little souffle from the Melted Mousse in Southern S'mores because I'm getting ready to do my customs. So I just want to make sure that everything that I have is what I want. And this is strawberry jam, toasted marshmallow, and cornbread cakes. I know. I might need to get this in a loaf. The strawberry jam is really like the richy, like gooey, thick strawberry jam. But mixed with cornbread cakes and toasted marshmallow... It was so decadent and rich. And the cornbread just leaned towards zucchini bread type sort of note a little bit. So good. Always. Like, I want that in my house always. I finished from Super Tarts Alfie. This is marshmallows, candy canes, and Christmas cookies. I did this in my bathroom because like a light like candy cane bakery. And that's exactly what it was. It was okay. I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. Um, it was like a, like a marshmallow cookie set. From K's Scented Melts, this is Apple Fireside, Mac Apple, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. It was unscented, and yeah, I didn't really smell it when it was warming, so would not repurchase. I finished, oh my gosh, I finished so much stuff. I finished Zen Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. This is Zen Swedish Dream Salt and Clothes on the Line. I like this. This was a very, very sea salty, leaning towards salty sea air mixed with laundry. I really enjoyed that. I did Vanilla Birch. It was a little sample from Southbound. This was nice. It's the dupe for the Vanilla Birch scent from um, Bath & Body Works. I did Banana Bread Coffee Bean and a Cloud Cake from L3. This was nice. I, I just wish, I almost want this to be Banana Bread um, Espresso. I feel like her coffee bean is just not it for me. I need something a little bit stronger. This is going to be a really long video. IHOP. No, this is not IHOP. I don't know what it is. This is my first ever order from um, Sassy Girl. It was like a pine scent, and I, I reached out in the Facebook group, and a lot of other people were like, oh my god, yeah, it smells like pine to me too. She said that one of the girls who like poured this had the oil, but it was like she grabbed the wrong oil. It was like some sort of pine scent. I don't know. It was good. I just don't know what it was. I finished from the pharmacist's daughter. I was trying to use up a lot of her stuff. I actually think I did these together. This is Different is Beautiful and Hallow's Eve. Different is Beautiful is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, vanilla buttercream, and birthday cake. And Hallow's Eve was crackling birch and pumpkin pecan waffles. So just like a nice, rich pumpkin vibe. Oh my gosh, so many. I did Pond from Super Tarts, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear, which is Jaws, mixed with laundry. Really good. Next time Pond is offered, I'm getting like two band bags. I really like this. The Jaws is definitely forward, that like plum, sweet, salty air, and pear mixed with that fresh laundry. That's a winner. It's a real winner, baby. I really like it. I did, oh my gosh, I did so much. I did cartoons from uh, Pharmacist Daughter. This is Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Cotton Candy, and Twisted Unicorn. This was okay. It was like a really, really milky cereal set. Oh, Jackie O's Peanut Butter Zucchini Bread. I already talked about this. I also did that in a film bar. 
I did Going to Disneyland in a Muffin from Sassy Girl. This is Cotton Candy, Strawberry, Pineapple, Creamsicle, Lemonade, and Whipped Cream. I enjoyed this. It's a very, very fruity, creamy scent. Um, yeah, I liked it. I would repurchase it, but it's not like a favorite. I liked it. I did Dip a Tea, which I believe is renamed to something else I can't think of right now. It's Black Currant Leaves, Bulgarian Roses, and Summer Berries. It's the Dupe for the Diptyque Bay Candle. Love that candle. It's like a rose. It's Bulgarian roses, black currants, and like green leaves. Really nice if you like rose fragrances. I finished another brittle from Sassy Girl in open water. Raspberry lime, salty sea air, sweet lavender, cotton candy, and marshmallow. I really, really enjoyed this. I enjoyed this one a lot because I find that the lime and the raspberry it was like a, a raspberry limeade, but mixed with like super like oceanic vibes is the only way I can describe it. It's really, really good. Really like that one. Oh, I finished a candle. This is in Yet from Yankee Candle Fluffy Towels. It's the scent I told you nobody can dupe. I don't know why. It's so good though. One of my favorites. It's like the best laundry scent ever. And you know I'm gonna freeze this, pop that out, and melt that in my bathroom because I don't ever want to be without a bit be without it. Oh, I did another bubble bath in a thousand wishes. Love Bath and Body Works bubble bath. I did raspberry jam filled donut from Sassy Girl Aroma in a mini muffin. This is that raspberry jam, fluffy donut, and powdered sugar. It is like a raspberry donut scent. Really, really nice. Really like that. Really rich yeasty. Cinna Twist from Salt Mountain Melts. So yummy. Regret not ordering from the last Salt Mountain Melts pre-order, but it's okay. This is cinnamon sugar, nutmeg, twisted pretzel, and bakery dough. This is pretzel done right. Really like it. The pretzel note really shine through on warm. You got this yeastiness, this really rich bakery. Really, really liked that. And then the last like bag I have is chiffon sheets from uh, Hayden Rowe. It was a little ducky. This was really nice. It was like a super sweet laundry type of scent. And there's no notes on the bags, but I popped this ducky in my bathroom and it lasted all day. All right, I have some scent shots that I have here. All right, the first one I have is from Candles by Victoria. This is Santal. This is her dupe for the Le Labo one. It smells just like it on warm. I need this in mass quantities from her. I love this, it smells just like the uh, Le Labo perfume. I did from Teddy B's I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. This is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Love this scent. I'm so happy I have it in chunk bags. I ordered I Heart Vanilla Blackberry from the pre-order that should be here this week. But yeah, really, really like that. I love the mix of that creamy vanilla with the apple. And the rest are all from Sassy Girl. I did Sayo Persimmon Fruit. This is like a little bit of a um, juicy, super like sour fruit. It was okay. Peppermint Meringue, really liked it. I have this in a, in a brittle now. It's like a super sweet peppermint, but the meringue added like a little bit of a creaminess to it. Dark Amethyst, this was kind of like a perfumey scent, not, the, not, not a favorite. Cucumber Cantaloupe, love, already have two brittles of. The cucumber blended with the cantaloupe. So good in the bathroom, and it lasted all day. It's kind of like her version of Cucumber Melon. Huckleberry Beach. I have this coming in a brittle in the next pre-order. That next pre-order, I only ordered five brittles. I can't believe it. It's Huckleberry and Beach Nights. Huckleberry, so nice. Love Huckleberry. A little bit warm, like I said, from the candle from Veluspa. Yeah, Huckleberry knocks it out of the park. And I believe, oh, there's literally one more thing. Lemon Glaze from Destination Wax. Did not care for this. Very lemony, fresh lemons with a lightly sugared bakery note. Yes, very, very lemon bakery. Or very, very lemony, not really bakery. It was very clean lemon. Whew. Was that it? Oh my gosh. I feel like I keep pulling out more and more and more. Oh, I talked about these, I think. Maybe not. Rainstorm and then Bergamot Waters and Sea Kelp. Both were really, really nice. I think I talked about these in my um, like melting baskets, but I did finish them. Rainstorm I did on rainy days. It was like a um, like a sweet, sweet watery scent. And then bergamot waters and sea kelp. This was the bergamot waters in here. I like a lot better than bergamot waters on its own. So whatever sea kelp is, I have to try that on its own, like in a trick tart. Yeah, it kind of gives it like a 
like like definitely like a green vibe but yeah mm, that was yummy all right that dumping them back in the bin to recycle is officially the end Whew. i cannot wait to clean this up recycle all these goodies and start fresh let me know what you guys have gotten through recently are you have any standout favorites what fragrances do you like let's get that conversation going down below always curious to hear your thoughts as always make it a better world you matter i love you all so much have an incredible day and be kind